So, yeah, that's my intro. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm back at another video. I know they're like, wow, two in one week. Yes, because one of the things I mentioned in my last video was being able to solo uh, Reaper 15 with my shooter team. And I left out that I'm also able to do that with my fighter team. Um, just to go over my 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 shooter my shooter team uh, is Daifu. You know he increases the damage that you do to the field, which is talking about reapers and uh and, and ferals. Um, Layla, uh, she has a she has a debuff. She's one of the two, I believe, only two heroes that have debuffs. Um, also Veach, Vicky, and Lilith. And you can see I'm sending a two hundred and eleven thousand six hundred and eighty troops. So, uh, and that's at 1.7 million power. But also take in consideration that all of my research tech is done for territory war. I was able to do it around the, like, I would say somewhere between 86 and 92% of this territory war tech completed. That's when I was able to do it. And normally when I do my, my, my research, I go down the line. So... Whatever I can hit going all the way down to the bottle, whatever I'm able to do, I do that. You know, and everything is always dependent upon the the amount of mana you got. So somewhere around 86 to 92 percent of territory war being completed, I was able to solo it with my shooters. And around that same time, I was still struggling to, 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 to win with my fighters, fighter team, Conception of Minds, Ace. Uh, Yuri, Gorky, and Susanna. Now, part of the reason for that is because they weren't all at 50, level 50. You know, level up your heroes, give them more attack. But also, since the fighter does less damage, it takes more troops. As you can see, I'm sending around 225,000 of fighters. I was able to finally solo at, at around 21,000, 22,000. I was above the 1.7 million total power inside the formation for fighters that i already have for the one point uh the for, for my shooters but i was above i was around that area and i still wasn't able to do it for fighters until i was able to send enough troops now again i think that was around 22 it could have been 23 but i'm saying between 21 and 22,000 fighters to be able to take it out so i'm going to show you guys a few reports and show you some of the difference and the amount of damage and the amount of losses based on for how I send my troops. Um, this right here is my is all shooter. If you look at it, and you know everyone knows Vicky is the computer. This is the all shooter team. You can see my shooters is at 9.9 because .9 Vicky sends level eight troops. You know what I mean? And, and she's fighting against level eight troops. You see, I'm doing 91.4 percent damage. This is only using shooters in that lineup. Only using shooters in that lineup. I didn't send any other troops other than shooters. So, and and, and that's and that was the result of that. Uh, as I mentioned before, my shooter attack is at four oh six point ninety one percent. That's pretty high. Uh, and this is with my shooter team. The next report, and I, I wanted to mention also on that report. Oops. I want to mention also when referring to that report, when you look at the troop loss, I lost 2,385 severely wounded, not lost. They don't die. They only get wounded. But 2,385 went to the hospital. Um, with my fighter team, they did 66.1% damage and Vicky with 33.9% damage. This is with my all fighter team. You know, for fighter, you want to focus on health. But we, we can go to looking at their 209 um, fighter attack. Because they don't get as high as the the um, the 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 shooter team. Can they get as high? If they add more um, fighters with attack, yeah, you can get it that high. Because if you look at all the legendaries, they the max that damage they're able to do is 45%. I believe I've seen one recently, one of the newer ones, whether it's Minsk, Jeff, or uh, one of the one of the new newer ones. What's her name? The new female. Uh, I'll just tell you real quick. 
Her name is... Well, one of them, I know they, they've been able to a uh, whip. That's her name. Get above that, that level. Let's see. No, she's only doing 16 there. For fighter health, she's able to max out at 45%. Everyone basically maxes out at 45%. I know one of them has a, a high of... 55% driver attack. That's Minsk. Let me double check with Jeff just to make sure is is something ridiculous also. It's 45%. They typically all go to 45%. Minsk is the only one that I've seen go to 55% and it's for drivers. So continuing on going back to the the reports, you know, we 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 looked at we see 66.1% with my with my fighters. And that's in two, 225,000 fighters. And look at this, the wounded, 2,974. Now, I, I haven't really experimented much with using my fighter team and sending shooters along with them. That's an experiment I, I plan on doing in the future. And I'll get back to you guys on the results of that. The final report is with the, the team that I normally send, which you'll see because I'm sending less shooters, I'm sending more fighters, it's at 81%, 19% for Vicky. But look at the damage, look at the severely wounded, 1,634. This is mixing my shooters and fighters, me sending 80,000 fighters, along with the shooters, with my all-shooter team. Now, there are a bunch of variable, very varying ways for you to be able to send a shooter team three shooters two fighters you know what i mean or th four shooters one fighter you can mix and match doing those things with the focus being on shooters and then sending the majority of the troops as being shooters you know you can do that i put i prefer to make an all shooter team and focus on maximizing the damage you know but as you can see when I don't send the fighters along with the shooters, I take more losses, more more wounded troops. You know, so so this is the reason why I send the fighters. This has also benefited me in PvP. I know this is the field, but this has also benefit me, benefited me in PvP. I've attacked players directly, sending all shooters, and attacked players directly, sending shooters and fighters. One of the reasons this is like this is because what the fighters do is they protect the shooters. You know, shooters, they they aim for first drivers, then shooters, I mean, then fi fighters, then shooters. So when you're attacking someone and, the, and, and you don't have any drivers, the first people, the first one that's going to receive being attacked is going to be the fighters. Because you're most likely when, some, when you're attacking someone, they have a bunch of shooters in there and the shooters are doing the most damage. So because of that, the fighters is going to help defend the shooters by taking the hits. So when you got high health on these fighters, they're taking the damage, giving your shooters more time to kill the enemy. So as I said, I'm going to experiment some more and put some, um, some, 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 some shooters along with my fighter team and see if I can get those losses down, those wounded down on the 15. So I just wanted to hurry and get this video out. I didn't want to make anything long. Just a follow-up on that last video I came with. Um, stay tuned for next week on Wednesday. I have a, a, um, a beast tier list. I have a beast tier list. I'll be putting it out on Wednesday. I'll probably be making it tonight, but I'm putting it out on Wednesday. So stay tuned. I got more videos coming next week and in the following week. And you're going to see me consistently putting out videos going forward. So as always... Comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that like button, please. It does a lot for the algorithm.